The restrictions are in place just yet, but Governor Gavin Newsom says it's right around the corner for the Southern California region, and that includes San Diego. As early as the next day or two, as early or rather as late as the next week or so. That's when he expects less than 15 percent of the region's ICU beds to be available. Data compiled by media partner KQED shows the region is at 23.7 percent availability as of yesterday. But a county spokeswoman said the state projects Southern California could dip below 15 percent by tomorrow. That would close a wide range of businesses for at least three weeks. When the region is placed in the stay-at-home uh, category, the bars, wineries, personal services, uh, hair salons, and the like would be temporarily closed for that three-week period. Restaurants would also be restricted to takeout and delivery, and retail locations limited to 20 percent capacity. But schools already doing in-person learning could remain open, and essential services would continue. Newsom says most outdoor recreation sites would also stay accessible. We want you uh, to exercise and go on a run with a partner within your household. Uh, Go sledding uh, these outdoor activities in the winter to the extent uh, a walk on the beach or out in our state parks or your local parks is appropriate. We encourage that. Take a bike ride. Go fishing. However, playgrounds would be closed. The state's Dr. Mark Galley says after three weeks under the orders, the state will lift restrictions based on current transmission rates and ICU projections for the next month. We know that um, by seeing that transmission rate come down three weeks after putting the order in place, that we should see projections of our ICU capacity improve, increase above 15 percent, which allows us to lift that regional stay-at-home order effectively. If lifted, counties will then go back to the tier based on their own county's case and positivity rates. Newsom says the measures will help protect hospitals for the expected surge in admissions. And he pointed to resources on the state's website for businesses and workers that will be weathering the closures. Taryn Mento, KPBS News.